touch more on that well, later. Yeah, but uh, I, I did want to touch on some stuff that you like. Unless you want to, there's more you want to say on this point. Um, go ahead. I'm, some stuff... I'm going going around at this no, point. No, I think you're so... talking like 15 minutes straight. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, no, it's all good. It's all good. I was trying to find a, a point to get a word in, but it was not going to happen. Um, I, so about, I don't know, 10 minutes ago or so, there were two <laughs> topics that you sort of blended together that I think do need to be split apart clearly because they are very clearly different things. That is application theming and icon theming because these are two very distinct things. And icon theming does have a very specific... Spe- uh, like XDG specification where this actually does exist. There, There is a definition for what icon theming is. CSS, the, the whole GTK CSS stuff, that's, you know, that's that's a different thing. Um, which direction do you want to go down first? I think we can go down the icon theming thing, although I will warn you that I know about the controversy around it. I, I have a 25-minute video coming out soon about it. It's insane what was going on in those threads. I know it's quite bad and I've experienced it firsthand. I know that if you have GNOME icon themes and KDE icon things uh, to get, like if you want to use Qt and GTK apps together, you're going to go into some issues uh, unless you do some steps to prevent yeah, that. GNOME... Gnome is in the process of basically doing away with icon themes. Not entirely, um, but there is a lot of developers in the project who don't like icon themes specifically because of QA and... Uh, base, yeah, it's basic QA, actually. That's, that's the main thing. You cannot assume that the user is going to have the correct icons available, and you cannot assume that the icons they are going to have available are going to fit your, like, UX design that you're going for. So, GNOME apps are designed around AdWaiter. If you do not have AdWaiter, that's not our problem. And I know with GTK 5, there is some discussions about completely doing away with the architecture entirely and just not even allowing the ability, at least with, um, with, uh, Liberty Waiter stuff, not even allowing the ability to change the icon theme. There's still some discussion about whether there should be some fallback there for, or some different solution there for the more generic use cases, but specifically the GNOME usage, there is a discussion about completely ditching that ability. I mean, it's, it's basically the same argument, the, the, the same thing that we've been talking about up to this point, I think. Uh, mostly yeah, QA is a thing. Uh, you have to make sure that your stuff doesn't break when you use a different configuration. At some point, that becomes uh, um, like too much of a burden to to deal with. And uh, I, I think that it does make sense. And to some extent, we've already seen it happen in the GDK development uh, sphere, where you basically have uh, applications such as uh, Icon... What's this called? Icon Library. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's basically mm-hmm. like... Uh, a developer aid application where you have a bunch of icons, uh, like symbolic icons Mm -hmm. that you can include in your application. And some of them are like um, system icons and those are like the theme icons. Um, And uh, uh, the vast majority of them are uh, actually bespoke icons or like uh, I would say Gnome Mm -hmm. Hag icons possibly Mm -hmm. um, that you can uh, include in your application, bundle it with your application and like ship it. And I have been doing that. That's actually a pretty pretty nice thing to have, like a pretty nice tool because uh, particularly when you need some specific icon that no one has needed before you you have nothing so we will need to include an, uh, an icon mm-hmm. and like having a straightforward process to to do that is kind of kind of, kind of interesting um i think that this is a good move um it's less of a good move considering um the other quote unquote legacy applications or even if you don't want to think about like older GTK stuff, you can think about QT stuff, you can think about other toolkits. Well, that are... the issue that happened in that thread is Adwaita is not it's by definition not a correct icon theme anymore. They specifically do not include certain icons and only include a symbolic version. Whereas at this point the spec does not currently support symbolic 
icons. That's the discussion they are having, and they are, like everyone's in favor of adding them. KD likes symbolic icons, and um, um, Gnome likes them, so they might as well be in the spec. But they weren't in the spec already, and that meant that there's some applications that are requesting the non-symbolic version, and if Adwaita is set as the default theme, so this I think the example they used was Kate. Um, if Adwaita is set as the default theme, which it would be on Fedora, for example, that application is just missing a ton of icons because it cannot find them in Adwaita because the theme just doesn't have those icons anymore. And this, like, I, I, I'm totally fine with what Gnome is doing in, like, internally in their ecosystem, but when those issues start, like, leaking out into other applications that a user might want to install on their system, like, installing Kate's a weird one, but you might want to install, I don't know, like, the, there's going to be some application out there, Caden Live. I don't know if Caden Live supports icon. Caden Live, the, I think it, I think it, they moved to like forcing their own icon thing. That some, makes sense. I, I don't think it's some. I think that that's like most Qt apps are like if you use GNOME, most Qt apps in my experience are broken, or at least I have never been able to make uh, Qt apps. Do you want to know why look... they're broken? It's because they don't. <laughs> they it it's finally become a discussion because of this. They are making Breeze a hard dependency. Why it wasn't this entire time, I could not tell you, but they're finally doing it. I know, I know. The only problem is that I haven't been able to set set Breeze as the as the preferred QT theme or anything but, uh, but Plasma, mm. and that's uh, mildly annoying, mm. um, particularly when you cannot stand Fusion, um, the, the Fusion theme. Um, mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah. Um, <laughs> I think that the icon problem is very, very uh, impacting on the community and the general usage of the Linux desktop, whatever it is for you. And but at the same time, I think that um, it's it's not very nice to say, but I think that at some point it becomes an argument of you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. Sure. Um, I think that some particular topics move too slowly to be effective unless you start breaking stuff. Um, the moment you start breaking stuff, I think things go into sort of an emergency mode and things start moving back again. Like okay. it's a, no, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, uh, it's like an unholy grease for the wheels of um, random maintainers. Um, that's, um, I, I wish, these certain topics would move uh, faster or in a more agile sort of fashion. Um, but unfortunately, again, it's very much the case of most of these people have other priorities uh, if they are actively working on that particular project or uh, if they're like random contributors or even like uh, frequent contributors, but that's not their, their, their primary day job. It's hard. It's hard to keep up with all this stuff. Right. Um, well, it's especially hard when when you're dealing with these meta level repos like Wayland, for example, where or XDG specs, where it's not one desktop goal. Like when you're dealing with something in GNOME, right? Like there's I've said this with someone else before, but when you're dealing with a GNOME problem, you can all agree on some fundamental truths. Like we're gonna use GTK, we don't particularly like application theming, we use Adwaita for everything. Like, those things, no one's going to argue that in the GNOME project. At least they probably won't unless they have some time they want to waste. But when you're dealing with something like XDG, you're dealing with Wayland, you're dealing with any of these meta-level repos, it's not just, this is what GNOME wants, it's, here's what KDE wants, here's what WL Roots want, here's what Cosmic wants, and Maybe there is some things you agree with, and oftentimes, you know, KDE and Cosmic might have similar intentions, but W Roots, they're trying to make a generic library. They're not even shipping half the uh, the XDG portals, for example, because it just doesn't fit with what they're doing. They expect the downstreams that are implementing something with W Roots to do it themselves. And whenever you're dealing with something like this, it's going to lead to these sort of rough edges in the discussions and things that just they just frankly don't move very quickly like that, that, that that's the simplest way to put it there are we've all seen the wayland discussions where it's like 
five years this protocol has been in discussion. And it's not like five years it's been stalled. It's been five years like active on and off discussion. And I've, I have noticed that with Red Hat being like, yo, um, so we're going to stop doing the whole XORG thing after Roll7. There's now a deadline to when Red oh, yeah. Hat does not care about X11 anymore. And that, I have noticed, has sort of... As soon as that happened, a lot of those protocol discussions which I thought would have taken multiple years have taken multiple months, or in some cases, like, multiple weeks. Some developers said media at some point, I think, got, like, a, a random ear, ear bleed um, when, when Red Hat announced that, just, like, out of the blue... Uh, someone in NVIDIA had a stroke because they uh, suddenly had to Oh, yeah, there's a whole NVIDIA stuff as well. Yeah, yeah. They, out of nowhere, they're like, oh, yeah, okay. We're good. Let's go. It just works now. <laughs> Apparently, the, I've yeah. not tested them myself, but 555 on um, desktops that have the explicit sync patch, apparently it's perfect. Like, there's no issues. Apparently. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I, I haven't, I haven't used NVIDIA it, for a while. But... Yeah. I mean, I, for what I know, you still have some a bunch of random problems with nvidia but you do have random problems with amd as well so sure, sure, there's yeah. um there's hate to, to go for every big manufacturer out there. but the whole uh, your screen is flickering that issue has uh sort of gone away and that's a big one <laughs> if you ask me particularly if you're photosensitive i, yeah, I wouldn't absolutely. imagine how fun that would be mm. it's like it's like er roulette uh, every time you open steam you don't know if you're gonna go to the ER, if you're gonna end up playing video games yeah we love race conditions where they Completely random if it's going to happen. No. Good luck. Enjoy. Have fun. 